What's up everyone? It's Veronica and welcome to another video. This is my very first travel vlog and it's also my first time leaving the country. You can see I'm very excited about that. Here on day one, it's January 11th and we are leaving to go to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. I had the privilege of being invited by my boyfriend and his family and I'm so excited to check out Cabo and share with you my trip and what I got into. So without further ado, enjoy the video. After two flights and a long day traveling, we landed at the Cabo San Lucas International Airport and immediately we got some drinks outside the airport while waiting for our driver and the shuttle. We've arrived. Leave the airport. <laughs> Then we checked in for our stay at Hotel RIU in Santa Fe, and this hotel was beautiful for first impressions. I've never stayed at a hotel or resort like this. And of course, before doing anything else, you gotta check out the view from your room. So we went out to the balcony and soaked it all in. Oh no, not the flash. Oh, this kind of looks better with the flash, actually. Wow. Pick up your wine glass, boy. Cheers, Cabo. <laughs> I'm doing a voiceover here because, you know, copyright. But after dinner, we checked out the RIU party, which is kind of like this EDM clubby foam fest thing that the hotel offers most nights. And we stayed just for a little bit before going to bed. It is 5.30 in the morning and we are headed deep sea fishing, which I've never done. So we will see how that goes. If y'all don't see me with the fish, it means I didn't catch anything, but that's okay. <laughs> On day two, we got up before sunrise for our sport fishing excursion, and this was booked with Pisces Sport Fishing. It was such a good start of the trip to be able to see the ocean and the rocks during sunrise, as well as Cabo's famous arch. The boat we were on was called Si Senora, and our captain was Carmelo, and he had his two sons as well, and they were super helpful. They set up all the lines for us and made sure we were set up for success whenever reeling in the fish. And again, this was my very first time doing deep sea fishing or any kind Kind of sport fishing and i will say it is a physically demanding sport but it was fun to do nonetheless and honestly any day on the water in any kind of capacity is a great day for me during our trip out in sea we saw what looked to be a lot of short-beaked common dolphins surrounding the ship we even saw some whales in the distance and unfortunately i didn't get that on camera or any kind of footage but it was really cool i've never seen a whale before in person so it was just another cool Cool thing to check off my list of firsts. On this fishing trip, I actually reeled in two fish. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of those reels, but I promise they happened. Um, and the whole group caught eight mahi mahi, otherwise known as Dorado. And it was really cool to see the crew hang eight flags to represent each of our catches for the day and going back into the marina. We saw the infamous arch on the way back, as well as a lot of pelicans and sea lions. And it was just a great way to end a great fishing trip. And upon the crew's recommendation, we went to Fisherman's Landing Restaurant where they will cook your catch of the day into, I believe, seven different ways. And they have really good sashimi there, so I 100% recommend this restaurant. And then after eating, we walked around the marina and the markets, and then we checked out Cabo Wabo, which brought the drinks and the vibes, and I definitely recommend checking them out as well. <laughs> Hello? Uh, more 
packed over here in the ground. Ah! After a long day, we are now enjoying a great walk on the beach together. Jake doesn't want to talk in the vlog, and that's okay. This is also upside down. <laughs> Hello. Upside down. No, this is fine. <laughs> it is so beautiful. Wow. Watch me drop my phone. How do you like your Cabo trip so far? It's been amazing. Amazing. It's been beautiful. You heard it from here. It's been from a life, here first. A life-changing experience. <laughs> so you were. That's right. We are now dressed up and going to be hanging out in the resort and getting some food, drinks, and seeing what's going on. And that's it. <laughs> Good morning everyone. It is day three of being in Cabo San Lucas and it is a great day to seize the day and go explore. We started off with some breakfast at the buffet before heading down to San Jose to check out some shopping and just see what we could get into. day we got all dressed up and ready to go on a sunset sail excursion with Cabo Adventures and they did shuttle us all the way to our check-in point at the marina. We waited at the Cabo Adventures building until our guide came to collect us and then he got us situated on the sailboat and hooked us up with mimosas to start. Each couple gets their own section of the sailboat and quick pro tip, if you want to be in the front of the sailboat, you need to be the first one to jump on, which is exactly what I did and you get a great view. Our tour guide was really great and he gave us some fun facts about the things that we were seeing. For instance, this is called Lover's Beach and it's really unique because it's one of the few seashores in the world that has two seas that can meet each other, which is the Pacific Ocean and the Sea of Cortez. The beach on the other side is called Divorce Beach and it's called that because of the jagged rocks as well as the really big waves that the Pacific Ocean brings in. And apparently you can even hike between the two beaches and find some private beaches in between the rocks. So you just take a water taxi to get to Lover's Beach and then go from there. Here our guide told us that this is the El Cardinal at Diamante, probably pronounced that wrong, but it's a golf course designed by Tiger Woods himself. I'm not a big golf fanatic, but I thought that was a pretty cool fact. This is when the sun started to set and we just really enjoyed seeing the gold, the pink, all the colorations against the shoreline, the sea and the buildings. And honestly, this was one of the most beautiful moments of my life. On day four, we woke up early and we set out for our zipline adventure, which was also booked with Cabo Adventures. We started the day with breakfast at the hotel and then Cabo Adventures picked us up in a shuttle and took us about 45 minutes out to the property where the zip lining was gonna happen. We then arrived to the property and they did say that this was a national park, but I didn't see anything online about this actually being a 
real national park, so I'm not sure if that's just lingo that they use for the adventure. But regardless, it was beautiful here and the tour guides were amazing. They were really proficient and made sure that everyone was comfortable with each excursion. And honestly, I overcame some fears of my own, including the swing. And here's me doing the Superman, which is a zip line over 4,000 feet. I also did rappelling for the first time, as well as doing the tightrope, which was super cool. Then after the excursion, they provide you with lunch and beers before shuttling you back to your hotel. We finished our last day in Cabo with some tanning and just enjoying the resort, the pool, and the beach. On day five of our trip, we shuttled back to the airport to catch our flights back into the States. I spent the shuttle just trying to get as much views in as I could and really soak in the moment since I won't be back here for quite some time, I would imagine. And my overall impression of Cabo is that it's easily the most beautiful beach that I've ever been to. It's very tourist friendly. The only thing is that it is pretty pricey, so just keep that in mind when going. But this was a great trip for my first time out of the country, and I'm extremely grateful for it. I also wanted to thank you for watching this video. It's really fulfilling for me to document my travels, and I hope to bring you guys more travel vlogs in the future. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys in the next video.